So right off the bat, I don't buy everyone with saying this race has no early speed. Clearly not a group of early horses, but we have a clear leader here with the four, Coffee with Chris, that looks to be a speed and fade type. His race last time out, 41 2 fifths, 112 and 4 fifths to the second call is the mark to evaluate everyone in this race today. And going through first with the pressers, the one national treasure is a horse that, you know, should improve with the slower fractions, but I still have my reservations with him. He's shown good positional moves, but just never a whole lot, just running up into the money. And I wouldn't be shocked when he flies out of the gate trying to take this group, you know, gate to wire. His only career win was in that manner, and I question how good of an idea that would be here. Certainly would make me like the pressers even more if he does go out and do that. The six perform is a threat on the sole fact that the more distance he's had, the better he's gotten. Now, this is the highest level race he's ever seen, but he had no problem winning against the Fractions Coffee with Chris set in that last race. Also, when we go in here to the tandems, look back at that January 28th race at Gulfstream Park. He ran toe-to-toe -to -toe with Mage before fading. Now, if you're big on Mage, how are you against this horse at 15-1? to You know, I think you kind of need to use that same logic on class and who they faced. You're getting a massive price on the horse that we know can run with that caliber of horses. Clearly performance put together in his last two races, and that price is probably gonna to be too good to pass on in this race. And then the last presser, the eight first mission, you know, he should have the first jump on the early runners in here with how he likes to sit forward positionally. He's just one of those horses that sits and grinds you down. My concern, honestly, is gonna be the closers in here. They'll be coming home much faster and the extra furlong he has to cover today I think that could be bad news for him. As far as the closers, the two, just too slow in here. Not not much form coming into the race. I'll give credit for taking a shot, but I don't see it happening. The three, Mage, the Kentucky Derby winner, who everyone seems to think is a lock in here. Couple things. The quick turnaround is going to be rough, but what I'm more concerned with are the solar fractions we're looking at in here. And this is why. Look at his last two races. Both are sub 111 second calls where he comes late picking up the pieces. Also, with how it looks to be slow early in this race, do we see Mage forward in the mix like his first two races? Because I think that adds another dynamic to this race that's interesting for sure. And if he is, I think that would make you like the six perform even better with that early pressure. And also this guy, the five, Red Route 1 who is just a thorn in the side to someone like me. First off, when the Derby finished, I was upset he, he wasn't able to make it because of how everyone came from off the pace. I think he isn't going to be hurt by these early fractions. If you look at the second call of the Southwest and the Rebel, both were sub 112, and he came up for second. Then look at his race last time out that he won. One minute, 12 seconds to the second call, and he gets there. My point is that no matter what, he comes with his run, and he also gets the most distance he's ever seen in here today. 10 to 1, I absolutely love the price. I think this horse is going to be a serious threat all summer to the three-year-olds. He's ran against nothing but great stakes caliber horses his whole career, and I really believe that he would have ran huge if he was able to run in that Kentucky Derby. And then lastly, the seven, Blazing Sevens. Which, first off, what a perfect post in a high-profile race. Blazing 7s gets post 7. That alone will be a quote if he wins this. Either way, I'm not too big on him. He seems like an okay horse that can be good, but he hasn't really done anything around two turns. I think he's someone that's going to be hurt from this early pace because he needs a total meltdown for him to win this. 6-1 to one with the Irad Chad hookup. Could take some money, but none of mine. Betting-wise, I'm hanging my hat here on the closers between Red Route 1 and the 6 perform. I'll take the 5 Red Route 1 on top. I'm convinced he's the real deal. And I think the price is going to be too good on both him and perform to where, you know, we definitely could two horse bet these guys. But the, the fractions, they both can overcome these early fractions, even if people think they're slow. I think this is a good race to go after Mage. Short turnaround. And also, National Treasure, I think, has plenty of question marks surrounding him coming in. He's going to be a short price. Everybody will latch on to him. 
looking to beat the Derby winner. I think we take both these prices, look to get a double-digit payout, and get out of this race.